Charlie Michaels and today we are going to be making some flamingos. They can be any color because I've already made an orange, pink, and green flamingo. So make sure to like and subscribe and make sure to have some parent supervision with this. Let's get crafting. So the supplies that you'll need are multicolored pipe cleaners, some magnets, some felt feathers, or you can make your own cuts because you don't need the full feathers. Some multicolored pom-poms, and they need to be specific sizes, so you need a large, a small, and, whip, same one. <laughs> and you need a medium size so that you can complete them. Because you see, small, medium, and large. So what you also need are some googly eyes. And I think that that's about it that you'll need. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry, I forgot. You're going to need some scissors. That's why I said you need some parent supervision because you're going to need some scissors for this to cut the pipe cleaners. And you also need a hot glue gun and it can be very hot so you want to make sure they have a parent supervision so that in case anything bad happens, you can take care of it. Okay. So step one will be um, getting your pipe cleaner. So this time I will be doing yellow because I haven't done a yellow bird yet. Well, flamingo. So what you want to do is you want to fold the pipe cleaner in half so then it looks like this. And then you want to put your thumb right there so you can see it from the other side. Save that spot and then start twisting all the way down. I know you can't I know it might be hard to see that I'm twisting, but you want to twist it all the way down to the bottom. There's a lot of twisting involved with this process, but it will sure work out happily in the end. So you see you I have a long stick right here. So and after you have that long stick, you want to bend it like this. So you have a little U. So the pom-pom can fit right there. And then you want to bend the neck so that the little pot, you, so the little hole that you made is the head. So then we can fit this here. So what we'll be doing first is hot gluing the pom-pom. So what you need to do is, you see this? You need to hot you need a hot glue from half of it all the way down to the very end so then the hot glue can get right on there. So you see that I don't have any here. I don't have any right here. I have to, you have to make hot glue from here all the way to the end so that it can stay. You might have to hot glue it a few times but it's all worth it in the end because it looks super cute. So after, so after you do that, you're going to have to glue another pom-pom to it. So what you're going to have to do is get your yellow pom-pom head. I kind, of for, I kind of forgot to put it out here. So, I, so you're going to have to go in, inside a bag, and then this will be a medium pom-pom. You need to have it in a specific order because it wouldn't look right if you have a small body and big head. So what you're gonna do with that is you're going to glue the out, the out. That's why you have a parent supervision. It didn't, it's already dried just a little hot. But you're going to have to glue around that circle right there. So then this can fit right in that hole. So, you might have to go over it a few times, but what the what you get after you glue both pom poms is this. And you might be wondering, what about the feet? Well, we will do the feet last. On to the next step. Okay, so the next step will be gluing the eyes down. I usually ah, what the heck happened here? I usually like doing the same color eye to the 
to the pom pom. It doesn't have to be all girly like this. It doesn't have to have eyeshadow like this. I just saw these up at a store and I liked it, so I wanted to buy them. And by the way, I got these I got these supplies all today. So you want to hot glue that and then stick it right on. You might have to let it cool for a few seconds, maybe blow on it a little. And it might get a little stringy like it is now, but you just have to separate that. So, and then after that, as you see in these two, I put, I put orange and orange, pink and pink, pink and orange, and then the same eye color. But I'm going to be doing that same thing with these two. So you're probably guessing that I'm probably going to put a green pom-pom for, for the beak. And if you guessed that, you're correct. So this time I'm gluing, I'm putting the hot glue on the pom-pom because I'm gluing it to another pom-pom. You might have to like push it there for a few seconds. And it's already looking super cute. It's gonna be a man's best friend. But comment down, comment down below if you are a dog person or a cat person. Honestly, I'm a dog person. I have two dogs, they're both sitting here. Would you like me to show them? Comment down below if you want me to show them in the next video. So next up is the accessories and the legs. So I already have a little done right here. Basically all you do is swoop it around just like the flamingo's legs. And flamingos have their legs sticking up and they only are standing on one foot. So that's what you're making with this. And you're probably saying it's way too long. And you're right, it is. This is where the scissors come in hand. And don't worry, I'm not gonna cut it like that. These are just hard to open. So you wanna give it like a little room, about, about like a inch and a half room. Cut it. You'll have some extra, you do not need this. You can add it on as maybe like accessories if you can find any way. But I didn't use anything with it. So then you want to finish up with the folding and then you want to glue the hot glue right here so you could stick it on the bottom. So there goes the hot glue. There it goes. And it is on. You... Ow. See, that's why you have a parent supervision. Let me go wash off my hand for a sec. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so after that, you're going to want to glue the magnet on. So basically what you want to do is grab a magnet, peel it off. I already have one here, but it looks like the glue has already sat. So I'm going to just add some more hot glue. And also these are, magnets are actually pretty expensive. So I bought one with 18 magnets. It was, magnets are pretty expensive, but I only, <laughs> but I went off with, I started off with some magnets, 18 to be exact. And then you wanna glue it, glue it on. It will feel warm, but it won't burn. It won't burn unless the glue touches you. But you see after that, I put it right in the middle. And then I want to choose to do a purple wing. So you do not need all of this. What you're going to need is your hefty defty scissors again. Make sure to have a parent supervision. And then what I like to do is, these scissors are just hard to open. You should not handle them like these. There's, these scissors are still safe, just kind of hard to open. And it's, okay, it's okay if it's not a perfect cut because this side is going to be hidden. So that it's like this. It's going to be absolutely hidden. So then you want to hot glue, right? We need to hot glue the bottom right there so that we can stick it on. So 
so I hot glue it right there. It's going to feel hot, maybe a little burny, but it, the glue has not touched your skin. So then you see how this is right here, and that is starting to sum up it, to sum it up. You can add like another like pom pom, you can add it like right in the middle, just to add a little flare. I, honestly, I like that, so I am going to add a little flare, add a little pom pom right there so it acts like a little feather you have a feather in the back and a feather in the front so that is that sums up our flamingos <laughs>